Welcome back to our ASC C1 test preparation. We've been talking previously about communicating with the customer and the aspects of handling the knowledge transfer with them. Today we are looking further into the write-up and that that has to do with the vehicle itself. It used to be if you had the customer's name and vehicle you were all set. Not today. With the addition of all the technologies, along has come the need for more vehicle information. Many of the current computer write-up systems assist you in gathering that, but not everyone has the systems available for this at write-up. If yours does not, here are a few things to be sure to remember. First and foremost, get the VIN. This 17-digit number holds many of the required data points about the vehicle. It can, in many cases, tell you the year, the model, the assembly plant, the engine, and even the sequence number that the vehicle was produced in. Most information systems today use this number to decode many things about the vehicle. It's imperative that you capture this information correctly. One number or digit off on the VIN and you're either void or have a completely different vehicle. Be sure to double check it for accuracy if you are gathering it manually. It can usually be found on the dash or VIN plate under the front window glass. Many vehicles have it on barcode form on the door jamb. It will also appear out under the hood. Another key bit of information is the build date. Many systems require this to check calibration codes or parts identification. It can usually be found on the door jam sticker also. You know in your environment what information you need. Many places require paint or trim codes, lock information for any added accessories like gas caps or wheel locks. Paint codes and trim codes are also often needing depending on the type of repair. Be sure to capture these codes when you are processing the vehicle. This will save time and aggravation later. Lastly, and probably most importantly, is to log in any abnormalities or damage on the vehicle. Get the customer to acknowledge these during the write-up. This step will save any disagreements later about existing conditions. It also might be a potential sales opportunity for you and your store. That's all for today. Join us next time when we discuss warranty and service contracts. Thanks for being with us.